As the holiday season comes to an end, we're thankful for family and friends and all the blessings that make life worth living. But as we mark the beginning of a new year, we also know that America faces great and growing challenges. Challenges that threaten our nation's economy and our dreams for the future. Nearly two million Americans have lost their jobs this past year. And millions more are working harder in jobs that pay less and come with fewer benefits. For too many families, this new year brings new unease and uncertainty. As bills pile up, debts continue to mount, and parents worry that their children won't have the same opportunities they had. However we got here, the problems we face today are not Democratic problems or Republican problems. The dreams of putting a child through college or staying in your home or retiring with dignity and security know no boundaries of party or ideology. These are America's problems, and we must come together as Americans to meet them with the urgency this moment demands. Economists from across the political spectrum agree that if we don't act swiftly and boldly, we could see a much deeper economic downturn that could lead to double-digit unemployment and the American dream slipping further and further out of reach. That's why we need an American recovery and reinvestment plan that not only creates jobs in the short term, but spurs economic growth and competitiveness in the long term. And this plan must be designed in a new way. We can't just fall into the old Washington habit of throwing money at the problem. We must make strategic investments that will serve as a down payment on our long-term economic future. We must demand vigorous oversight and strict accountability for achieving results. And we must restore fiscal responsibility and make the tough choices so that as the economy recovers, the deficit starts to come down. That is how we will achieve the number one goal of my plan, which is to create three million new jobs, more than 80% of them in the private sector. To put people back to work today and reduce our dependence on foreign oil tomorrow, we will double renewable energy production and renovate public buildings to make them more energy efficient. To build a 21st century economy, we must engage contractors across the nation to create jobs rebuilding our crumbling roads, bridges, and schools. To save not only jobs, but money and lives, we will update and computerize our health care system to cut red tape, prevent medical mistakes, and help reduce health care costs by billions of dollars each year. To make America and our children a success in this new global economy, we will build 21st century classrooms, labs, and libraries. And to put more money into the pockets of hardworking families, we will provide direct tax relief to 95% of American workers. I look forward to meeting next week in Washington with leaders from both parties to discuss this plan. I'm optimistic that if we come together to seek solutions that advance not the interests of any party or the agenda of any one group, but the aspirations of all Americans, then we will meet the challenges of our time just as previous generations have met the challenges of theirs. There is no reason we can't do this. We are a people of boundless industry and ingenuity. We are innovators and entrepreneurs and have the most dedicated and productive workers in the world. And we have always triumphed in moments of trial by drawing on that great American spirit, that perseverance, determination, and unyielding commitment to opportunity on which our nation was founded. In this new year, let us resolve to do so once more. Thank you.